Okay. Celine Dion, who did you piss off? Who did you piss off? Good morning, family. Good afternoon. And welcome to this mental house. Because this is something. Y'all know Rolling Stones came out with their, um, you know, their 200 best singers, right? The greatest singers of all time. Okay, so I'm not going to do them all, of course. But the, they updated their list from 2008, okay? And while the roster of artists is extensive and varied, due in part to change in the criteria, there are a few questionable decisions that have outraged fans, but likely none more galvanizing than Celine Dion being totally, totally kicked off and not mentioned at all. I mean, she she did not make, we talking about 200, and she didn't even make the list. Okay, and I think this is, that's just bull crap. She's angered someone, and uh, I believe it was because when they had the Divas program, she got out there and tried her competitive nature, tried to outsing uh, Aretha, and I don't think that the powers that be, nor did the fans, because we picked up on it, and those of us who who know how this go, there's a difference um, between uh, showing your chops and then paying respect, for real, for real. So uh, maybe that's what it is because, you know, and she's a Canadian. But I don't understand how some of these people could be on this list. Now, I said 200. I said 200, right? You got Frank Ocean on there, but you don't have Deborah Cox. You got to give me a break. You... You don't have Celine Dion on there, but nine and ten. I mean, you got Al Green and uh, 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 Otis Redding. Don't get me wrong; I love these brothers, but if I have to be fair, now the Canadian is a better singer. Celine got chops, and I don't care what anyone says. I mean, y'all got to go ahead and give it up to her. And so, who does she piss off? Who did she piss off? <laughs> and so, who else? Crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Uh-uh. Is she on here? Okay, I'm not going to do the whole list. That's Patsy. Patsy Klein. But I will say this. The first one and the, f the first few they got right. I would say at least the first, we'll go six, seven. Um, I believe Stevie Wonder is a better singer than Ray Charles. Um, but number one is Aretha, and I don't think anybody would argue with me about that. Number two is Whitney Houston. Number three is Sam Cooke. Number four is Billie Holiday. Number five is Mariah. Mariah, I know I'm just so mad that you associated with Nick Cannon. Um, you got Stevie Wonder. You got Ray Charles at number six and Stevie at number seven. Beyonce at number eight. And I love Beyonce. Love her. But she can't out-sing Celine Dion. Um, Otis Redding at number nine. Al Green at number ten. Uh, the last three, you know... You could have put Celine up in there. So then at 11, you got Little Richard. Number 12, imagine all the people. John Lennon. 13, there she is. You got Patsy Klein. Uh, 14, you got Freddie Mercury. On and on. And 15, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan can't even sing at all. What the? It... 16 is Prince, and you, 
17 Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley and Prince is, sings better than Bob Dylan. So, again, this criteria is something. Uh, Celia Cruz is 18, 19, Frank Sinatra, and 20 is Marvin Gaye. 21 is Nina Simone, and then you got Adele down here at 22. I'm sorry, Adele can move up a few spots. Yeah, Adele can move up a few spots, y'all. Y'all, y'all need to quit. She can move up a lot of spots. In fact, you can take some people off of this list entirely. And there's no way in the world you, number 29, you could have Shaka Khan and no disrespect to you, Mary J. But y'all ain't even in the same class. So you can't have Mary J. up there and, and Shaka way down here. Are you kidding? Okay. Somebody. Somebody. Um, dropped the ball on this. And like I said, the whole premise of the whole article is that Celine was left off. So you got all these singers in front of her. Miriam McKeever, Mick Jagger, Sade, Joni Mitchell, Rod Stewart, um, uh, Tony Braxton. She's at 48. Ariana Grande is higher than um, her. So, okay, that's fine. James Brown should be replaced. He could even be replaced with any one of those. James Brown is not really a singer, y'all. Who the hell? Okay, y'all get the drift. Tell me if y'all agree with me or not. Should Celine be on this list? Please tell me. Celine is one of the greatest singers of our time. Are you kidding me? I'm... I already know she made somebody mad. Girl, you know how this the politics go or this stuff? The politics of dancing. Okay, leave your comments below.